Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Have a great class. All right. We're going to start standing. Bands are not essential, but if you want them, have them there. And you can introduce them for some of the exercises later on in the class. Okay. So starting standing, I want you to bring your feet just slightly wider than hip distance apart. Sorry about the mess at the start, guys. Not a nice start to our first class. Okay. And from here, guys, I'm going to get you just a gently squat down and then lift your arms towards the ceiling in a nice circle with the arms. So inhale and exhale, circle the arms. Breathe in and exhale. Then lift the ribs as you inhale towards the ceiling, reach the arms, and exhale as you come around with that, the arms, circling the arms. Inhale, lift the rib cage as I said, breathe deeply, and exhale, come wide. Nice relaxed arms, no tension in the shoulders if you can avoid it. Going down into a nice gentle squat as low as you feel comfortable, and uh, just mind your lower back. Make sure your feet are dead and engaged. On the floor, keep going. Well done, just give me three more. Two more. And last one. Lovely stuff. From there, guys, I'm going to get you to bring your feet a little bit wider. And we're just going to gently lunge to the right, back to center, and then to the left. Getting a nice little stretch with the adductors. And a little activation in the quads and the glutes. Nice gentle lunges. Make sure your knee is tracking towards your toes. Good. Hope you all have a great class today. And as I said, it won't be too challenging. It'll be just enough. Get you back into the rhythm. Okay, well done. Okay, from there, guys, I'm going to get you to release the arms down. And as you lunge down towards your left, I want you to reach towards your left foot with your right hand. And really kind of pushing that energy with your hand down and away, getting nice tension through the arm. Push. Okay, so nice strong arm. Really drive that hand down to the foot, locking out the elbow, and getting the back of the arms working. Lunging through, opposite arm to opposite foot. Good. Give me two more. And from there, guys, just lunging down and bring the hands down to the floor, either side of the foot, and just fold. Okay, folding that position. And slowly back, other side, hands either side of the foot, and leaning down into that leg that you're lunging down onto. Make sure all your toes are down engaged and you're pushing that heel down into the floor. Well done. And back to center and just let yourself hang into the center. Drop the head and relax. No tension in the neck or the shoulders. And slowly place your hands onto your shins and walk your hands back up your legs, minding your back. Great. Bring your feet back in underneath your hips or slightly wider, whatever feels comfortable to you. And I want you to bring your hands behind your head and interlock your fingers. Elbows are back. So don't have them forward. I want them back behind your ears or in line of feet. Okay. From there, I want a gentle drawing in at the abdominal region. So bring your belly button towards your spine. A little clench of the glutes. And just a gentle tuck, not too much of a tuck, just a little gentle tuck of your pelvis. So bringing the pelvis slightly forward, okay? Not too hard though, where you're rounding your spine, okay? Just a gentle tuck. As I said, elbows are back. We're gonna take a big breath in here. And on the exhale, I want you to gently come down with your right elbow towards your right side. We're gonna lengthen out this lateral left side, okay? Because over the last few number of weeks, we've been sitting a lot more, hands to the other side. And we tend to always lean the sledge towards one side, back up to center. And we want to lengthen out these areas again, okay? Because they become accustomed to those positions and they tend to stay in those shortened positions, okay? Moving back to center. As you draw yourself back up to center, you use those external obliques to draw you back up. Draw that belly button towards your spine. You should feel those muscles working. And to the other side. 
So staying between imaginary two panes of the glass, one in front, one behind, and not letting your body fall forward. Okay, so just staying in those nice straight lines. Good. Three more. A little bit deeper with each one. And last two. Slowly come back up. Last one. Good. And back. Good. From there, guys, staying as you are with your foot stance, okay? I want you to bring your toes down. So really engage your toes. Claw the ground, okay? Every single toe driving into the floor, okay? I want you to feel how active tendons on the soles of the feet have to work. I want you to hold this tension in the foot. If you cramp, just release them out, okay, for a moment, and then try and go back in, okay? So really clench the ground. From here, we're going to inhale, reach the arms to ceiling. Exhale, go wide and down. Good. Inhale to reach. Really opening up the chest, shoulder mobilization going on here. Inhale to reach as well. And exhale. As you're reaching up towards the ceiling, really lift up out of your ribcage and your pelvis, okay? Letting that air fill the lungs, expand the ribs as much as you can. And keep those toes down. Activate those tendons, okay? A little gentle squeeze of the glutes also. Give me two more. One more. Lovely, okay, from there guys, staying as you are, you can relax the feet. What I want you to do is roll onto your heels gently, lifting your toes off the mat. From there, you're gonna roll gently forward, driving the toes down and your heels gently lifting. And just rocking back and forth gently, okay? Controlled, keeping your body nice and tall and staying nice and balanced throughout. A little engagement to the abs as well. And just feel how hard your feet have to work to come into that planted position and then to also bring the toes up and feel what toes don't actually want to engage. And that kind of indicates that they can be quite weak or they're, they're prone to not working when you're out walking or running or whatever activity you might do. And very important that they do work, okay? They can cause a lot of other issues. Okay, we're just gonna go for two more rocks forward and back. And the last one. Lovely. And then from there, a little bit wider with your feet, slightly wider than hip width apart. And I want you to come up onto the balls of your feet. Okay, so lifting the heels completely up onto your tippy toe. From here, guys, you're going to reach the arms out in front and just hold this position. Squeeze the glutes. We're going to gently come down to a squat position. Gently, gently, let the knees go out. Hold. Lovely. And slowly come back up. As you come back up, bring your arms by, down by your side, please. Inhale to reach the arms and slowly come down. We're still lifting the heels off the floor. They haven't come back down, guys. Keeping those heels elevated. And slowly come back up as you exhale. Breathing in to lower. Exhale to come back up. So as you once you finish your inhale, start to make your way back up. Inhale. Stabilize, good, exhale. Squeeze the glutes at the top. The heels do not drop, staying up on those toes. Good, getting back into those glutes. Stay lifted out of the heels, guys. Well done. So the heels do not drop onto the floor. Keep the heels lifted at all times. Breathing in to lower. And then you exhale as you come back up. Keeping the heels up, up, up. No resting the feet guys well done i want four more good it's all about control three well done two and last one okay come down Staying up out of the heels, lifting the heels, please, holding. You can bring your palms facing in or facing down. That's completely up to you. We're going to gently pull. If anyone's suffering with knee issues, guys, just come down a little bit and take a gentle pulse from here. Keep your heels down as well if you need to. If your knees are bothering you, just come down a small bit where you're getting a nice glute activation and you're pulsing through that, okay? That's fine. Everybody else staying down, gentle pulses. For five, four, 
three, two, one, and coming back up to standing. Well done. Okay, from there, guys. Again, I want a gentle tuck of the pelvis, please. All right? I'm just kind of showing you that because some people aren't aware of how to do it, okay? They may, they may be new to classes. On a day-to-day -day basis, we generally stand with our posture, pelvis kind of anteriorly tilted. So I want you to tuck it underneath, okay? Under your rib cage and bring the ribs down and active, okay? From here, guys, standing on your left leg, bring the right leg up to a 90 degree angle, please. We're gonna circle the hips, so bring the leg out, bring it behind, so the foot, if you're gonna uh, plant someone behind you, or kick the door behind you, then bring it all the way back up and around, back, squeeze the glute as you extend back and coming back around. I'll show you from side angle, out, Stand back, squeeze the glute, and bring it around. Place your hands on your hips so you feel that you're not driving your stomach forward too much. I don't want a dipping of the lower back, so keep in control of your abdominal region, but you're not pushing the ribs forward too much, okay? Your little standing leg is starting to bother you, just bend the knee a little bit. One more. Lovely stuff. And we're gonna squat over, okay? Opposite leg, 90 degrees. Circle it out, around, hip activation, drive it up. Hip, after, uh, hip flexor activation as you bring it forward. Up, around, kick, and forward. Good. Give me four more. Three, two, last one, good, and drop it down. Okay, just nice, go as wide as you can go, guys, and particularly those that may be tall, go very wide, okay? So nearly meeting the end of your mat, side to side. And from there, guys, just come down to a squat position gently, and if you can, place your hands onto the floor. Okay, placing your knee or your elbows on the inner side of the knees and just gentle rock side to side. Okay, keeping your bum down, not lifting it. Imagine there's a table under your back side and you're just rubbing that table from left to right. Okay, slowly come back up. And when you're ready, I want you to bring come to the end of your mat. Okay, we're gonna inhale nice and tall. And on the exhale, just folding over your leg and grabbing the back of your ankle, okay? And from here, bring your chest down towards your thighs, okay? Relaxing your head down. And we're gonna stay here for a moment and just focus in on the breath, okay? So we're gonna take a big breath in for five seconds. And when you're ready, inhale, two, three, four, Five, hold for three, two, one, and then exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in. And hold for three, two, one, and exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold for three, two, one, and exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Relaxing your hands down in front, and you're going to walk your hands gently out in front into a high plank position feet. Anyone that may be struggling with their wrists, you can come onto your fists and your knees, okay? That's an option. Okay, holding that high plank position. Pushing the heels away, squeezing the glutes. We're going to come back into a downward dog. Okay, push those heels down towards the mat. Okay, really drive the heels down. We're going to bend the left leg and push the right foot down a little bit more. Swapping over, right leg lifted, left leg pushing the heel down. Good, swapping over. Getting a nice stretch 
all the way from the sole of the feet to the hamstring, base of the hamstring. Just one more each. And last one. Lovely stuff. Place both feet back down and just gentle marching with both feet. Good. And when you're ready, coming back into your plank position. Okay, as I said before, anyone that's new or needs to develop strength, bring your knees down. Okay, holding that position. From there, guys, we are going to bring our right knee in towards our left elbow and extend back. Right knee to right elbow. Bring it back. Left knee to right. Back. Left to left. Back. Keep going. Right to left. Right to right. Left to right. And left to left. Keep going. Two more. Right. Left. Right. Right. And left to right, last one. Left to left. Hold. Drop the knees down. We're going to go into press up position. Okay. Five press ups, and then we're going back into our plank. When you're ready, slowly coming down for three, two, one, and push up. Slowly come down. Three, two, one. Drive up. And down. Control. And push up. Last two. Up. Last one. And up. Good stuff. Okay. Just give your wrist a minute if you need to stretch them out. And anyone that's working from their knees in the plank position, you can still bring the knees in under, but not going towards your opposite elbow. Or what I suggest is that you just lift and lower. Lift and lower. Okay. So you have options to tuck. Bring it back, tuck, and bring it back. Everybody else into the high plank position. Three, two, one, hope you come. And we're going left with left, left with right, right to right, right to left. Good. Left, left. Keep going. Left, right, 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 and left. One more each side. Left to left, left to right. Right to right, last one, guys. Well done. And right to left. Coming down slowly. And we're going into our narrow press up. So we're going with narrow press up, bring the hands under the shoulders, onto your knees. So you get more of a tricep activation here, okay? So elbows in nice and tight against your side, okay? If you find that too difficult, just stick with the full normal press up wide stance with the, with the hands, okay? Three, two, one, three, two, and back up. Three, two, one, and back up. Mind your neck, guys. Don't push your head forward. Okay, tuck the chin. Last two, and up for three, two, one, and back up. Lovely stuff. Okay. From there, guys, you're going to come down onto your elbows. Okay. And we're going to come into a plank position from the elbows. When you're ready, anyone that may have issues with the feet or toes, if you need to wear runners to these exercises, by all means, please do. Okay, holding this position. Full plank onto the elbows, please. Keep the bums down, squeeze the glutes, push the heels away. When you're ready, we're going to slowly rotate onto our right side into a side plank, releasing the left arm. Keep your left foot forward of your right. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, back to center. Good. Hold. Make sure your elbows aren't dropping down and your chest is coming down. Draw your shoulder blades away from each other. We're leaning onto our left side. Right foot is forward of the left. Sorry to turn my back to you. And reach that right arm to ceiling. Holding for another seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. If it's too much, come down onto your knees. Okay, I'll do one from the knees to the next one just to show you. Holding. Okay. 
Good. In three, two, we're going to go on to our right side now. So side plank from the knees. Okay, staying on your knees. You can stay in this position and work through side plank also. Okay. Stuff. Well done. Three, two, one. Back to center. Okay. Those that are on their knees, stay down. Keep working. There's no excuse. If you're finding the full ones too much, just come on to the knees. And we're going last side onto the left. And reach. Or from the knees. Other option. Good. Going. Three, two, one. And coming down gently onto your back, guys. Well done. Hope you're all okay. Okay, lying onto your back. Nothing under the head, please. If you have something, take it out. Okay, hands down by your side. Okay, okay. From here, guys, we're just going to come into a few uh, bridge positions. We're going to roll our vertebrae up one at a time just to get used to the, the movement again because we haven't done it for some time. Well, I haven't. So I'm not sure about the rest of you. Some of you may have been very good and kept it up. We're just going to peel our spine. So tuck your pelvis gently, pushing your pubic bone forward, and then slowly peel your spine off the mat, one vertebrae at a time. Okay, starting with the lower part of your spine and rolling through each one the whole way up. Okay, resting on the lower part of your shoulder blades. Make sure that your hips are level and that they're not off. Okay, check in with them. And just holding this position. We're going to inhale as we reach our hands to the back of the room. Staying up in the bridge position, exhale to lower the hands down. Inhale to reach. Again, being aware of where our toes are positioned, keeping the toes down. Make sure you're not lifting your toes off the floor. Reaching. Exhale as you lower. As you extend back, feel the rib cage lifting up. Exhale to come down. Resting on the lower shoulder blades, guys, so you're not hurting your neck, please. And as I said, nothing under your head. You'll be on the flat surface. Three more. And last one. Place the hands down, and then slowly bring your spine back down. Give me one vertebrae at a time. Bring your pelvis forward so your pubic bone is higher than your hips. And then you're rolling down onto the pelvis and then slowly pushing your hip bones higher than the pubic bone. So you're arching your lower back. You're making a nice space under that lower back. Okay. We're going to go back into imprint. So rolling your spine on the lower spine onto the mat. The pubic bone is now higher than your hip bones. No space under that lower back, guys. Okay. And we're going to bring one leg into tabletop and bring the other leg to meet you, meet the other. So bring the hands behind the head, interlock the fingers, and fully rest your head into your hands. There's no tension here trying to hold your head up, okay? Please keep the head nice and relaxed and your neck nice and relaxed, okay? Take a breath in, and on the exhale, we're gonna work through a couple of ab preps just to activate the abdominals again. Inhale to stay, exhale to slowly come up into an ab breath position. Good, inhale to come down. If it's too much, place your feet down onto the floor and just work through this exercise. Same, same exercise, just not as strenuous on your abdominals. Particularly those, anyone that's had a hip child recently or has any back issues, keep the feet down. We feel more comfortable doing so. Or if you're just getting over the illness as well, don't push. So nice big breaths as you come down, exhale to come back up. Really squeezing those abdominals as you come up. And support to exhale coming up as well so you're not putting pressure in the abdominal region. Inhale. As you inhale, don't lose your imprint coming down. Keeping that imprint there at all times. If you haven't been doing Pilates over the last number of weeks, or any core strength, you may notice they are a little bit shaky, and that's completely fine. Welcome it, embrace it, because it's letting you know that we need to do a little bit of work to get back to where we're at. But 
you will get there. You will get stronger in the next two weeks. You'll notice a huge difference. The shaking will get less and less, and the strength will get better. Keep going. Give me two more. One more. Lovely So Rest your head down, place one foot onto the floor and the other. Okay, again, nothing under the head for now. Hands down by your sides. We're going to do the bridge position again. We're going to be coming up and introducing our arms at the same time as we did in the last one. But we're just doing um, repetitions through this exercise, through this movement. Okay, inhale as you drive the hips up. And as you do so, your arms are going to reach to the back of the room. Okay, so the hips and arms move at the same time. As you exhale, bum comes down, arms come down, okay? Inhale to reach the arms to the back of the room, hips come up, resting on the lower shoulder blades, so not too high, please, and coming down. If that's too high, if you feel that you're putting pressure into your lower spine, don't go so high with your pelvis, okay? By all means, keep your arms by your side and just go as high as you feel comfortable, okay? If that's halfway, that's fine. Once you're getting an activation there, guys, within the glute, happy day, okay? Inhale to reach the back of the room, hips come up high as you feel most comfortable with. And inhale to reach, exhale to lower. Good, reaching, exhale to come down. Breathe in as you lift. Controlling the movement of the pelvis as well, guys. If there's any rocking going on, make sure to correct it and just feel which hip is coming down ahead of the other one. Are they coming down equally? If they're coming down equally, that's fantastic. That's what we want. Okay. Give me two more. Drive up. Feel those buns active. Good. One more. And come down. Really good. Just bring the knees into your chest. Okay, a gentle rock side to side. Um, and just extend the left leg down onto the floor. Give me a gentle stretch. Keep the other knee in against your chest. And gently pull it towards the opposite shoulder. And slowly place that foot down. Bring the other leg into your chest. And extending the opposing leg down. Bringing that knee towards your opposite shoulder. You need this little glute stretch because we are moving on to our glutes next. So, side lying position, please. Left side, right leg on top, left leg lower. Okay. Everybody all right? Okay. So, from here, guys, rest your head down. Okay. And just bringing the right leg into a 90 degree angle, all right? And in line with your hip. Slight bend in the lower leg, or if you feel more comfortable with the straight leg, by all means do so, okay? From here, guys, we're just gonna lift and lower that leg. And then what I want you to do is, once you have it in line with your hip, I don't think we've done this one before, you're gonna extend out in front, bring it back, lift, lower, and extend. Bring it back, lift, lower, extend. So you don't really need the bands on for these because you're kind of moving a little bit, uh, it's a bit awkward, I suppose, because the band will just roll up your thighs with the extended leg. So just stick with body weight for now. With me in another few minutes, you'll be hanging me. So extending, bring it back, lifting. Okay, four more. So once you bring that leg back in line with your hip, then lift. Back, squeeze the glute, lift, lower. Two. And one. And when that leg comes back, don't push your rib cage too far forward. So just make sure that the ribs are down and engaged, okay? From here, guys, extend the leg forward, and we're just gonna up and down with the leg, gentle pulses, okay? So those forward of your, your waist, okay? You're bringing that leg to 
let's say if my lower body was at 12 o'clock from my straw straight line down through the hips, I'm at about 10 to, okay, with my foot. Okay, if you can bring it to a quarter two, fantastic. You feel that flexible? Keep pulsing, lovely. For three, for two, for one. And we're gonna bring it back, okay? And we're gonna gently in line with your hip, up and down again, pulsing. And done. Again, bring it aware to the abdominals, guys. Rest your head down fully. You want to have it lifted. Relax the neck, okay? For three, for two, for one. Bend the leg, okay? We're going to do bicycle with the leg. So our knee is going to come forward. Again, keeping that leg lifted and in line with our hip. And we're going to circle the hip. Circle the leg, bring the leg back as if you're going to kick someone behind you, like a horsey, like a show pony, okay? Bring that leg around, okay? Nice circles. And as that leg comes back around, imagine you're trying to kick yourself in the backside with your heel, okay? And then extend, okay? Lovely. Knee lift and extend. And controlling the pelvis. So make sure that you're not rocking forward and back, okay? Extending through your waist. Control the abdominals. They're, they're controlling everything. They're keeping you secure, making sure that you're not going to irritate your lower back. Okay, control. This is all anchored down, okay? No rocking or shifting of the pelvis or the lower back or mid back. One more, please. Lovely stuff. Okay, just bend both knees and rest that top leg down. A little tap on the bum if you want. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, and from there, just elevate that top leg. Okay, we're going to lower and lift that top leg. Okay. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> if you were never away, okay. We're doing a few more of these, okay. I won't tell you because you'll just go into a negative frame of mind. Okay, we're halfway. Well done. Nine, eight, good, seven, six, five, four, three, last one. Drop the leg down in front and give yourself a little tap on the body. Okay, just coming onto your back again before we do the other side. The okay. And when you're ready, I'm going to get you to bring yourself into imprint position. We'll do the other glute play in a moment. Bring one leg to tabletop and bring the other leg to meet your feet. Hands down by your side. We're going to do toe taps. We're going to do four and then we're going to do obliques for four. Okay, I'll talk you through it. So inhale to stay. Exhale, bring that right foot down. Bring it back as you breathe in. Land left foot. Keep that imprint in your lower back. So your lower back does not lift off the floor. You need one more here. Hands behind the head. Please. Keep the legs where they are. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, right side towards your left knee. Inhale to lower for four reps. Exhale, rotate. Inhale to lower. And one more. Rest your head down. Rest your arms down. Toe tap for four. For three, for two, and one. Great stuff. Hands behind the head. Take a breath in. Exhale and up and rotate. One more. Good. Rest the head down. Two more rounds, please. Toe tap. Breathing, hands behind the head again, support your head, take a breath in, exhale. For two, for one, and breath the head down, last round, and toe tuck. One more, hands behind the head, last one, and up and exhale. For three more, for two, for one, and rest the head down, bring the knees to your chest, lovely stuff, keeping the left leg there, extending the right leg towards the ceiling if you can, toes towards the ceiling, 
Keeping the right knee against your chest, bring the left leg down a little bit lower and then bring it back up. Lower the leg, bring it up. Lower and lift as far as you feel comfortable. Feel the hip vector working. Lovely. We're taking that left side out of it completely. So we're not grabbing the ground with the left hip or the left foot. And slowly that right leg work. Two more. One more. And if you feel that your lower back is some way sore, don't go so high with the leg. Wrap that leg down and please swap over, right knee into your chest, extending the left leg towards the ceiling. Or to here, it doesn't matter wherever you can get that leg to. Perfect. We're going to lower and lift that leg as far as you can get comfortable. Okay, keeping the other one in against the chest. So don't go too high with the leg if you feel that your lower back is being compromised. Okay. So the higher up you go, the more of a compression with your lower spine you get. Okay. Just go as far as you feel you can find the camp you need for it. Okay. Give me three, two, and one. Lovely. Bring both knees into your chest and just a gentle rock from side to side. Okay, we're going to do the other side so that we of the glutes exercise. Okay, so coming down on that opposite side. And rest your head down. Okay. All right, and then just gentle bend of the, right, the lower leg and then bending the other leg at a 90 degree. Okay, keeping your leg lifted at hip height. Okay, so when you look down, your knee is in line with your hip. Okay, so the foot facing the way. We're going to lift that leg as you bring it down, then we're going to extend it in front. Bring it back in line with your hip, lift and extend. Lift and extend. Good. Five more. Hope you're all okay. Three more. Two. One more. Lovely stuff. The leg out here, guys, and just gentle pulses up and down. And good. One, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that leg back in line with your hip. Make sure the abs are active so you're not sticking your stomach forward. Okay, tuck the pelvis and up and down, gentle pulses. Okay. Check in with your stomach every now and again. Make sure it's doing something. A little activation in the lower waist. Good. For three, for two, for one, look, so bending that leg, okay? We're gonna bring the leg forward and we're gonna circle it around, okay? So bring the knee forward and circle it around. Keeping that leg lift, which doesn't rest down. Give me two, one. Lovely stuff. Okay, from there, guys, just bring the leg down. Okay. And we're going to open the top leg. Both legs are bent. Lift and lower, please. Okay. Well done. Three. Nearly halfway, guys. And halfway now for 10 more. 
nine. Stay with it, please. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place the leg down. Okay, a little gentle pat. Okay, coming back onto your back, please. Okay. From there, guys, I want you to take a big breath in and on the exhale, bringing yourselves into an imprint position. Okay, we're going to bring one leg to tabletop and bring the other leg to the feet. From there, I want you to stick the knees and the ankles together and bring the arms a little bit wide. Okay, we're going to circle the legs together. So bring them towards your chest and then go to the left side of the room. Bring them away from your body, upper body, and then circle to the right and all the way back around. So the legs stay together as a unit. And you can dictate how far your legs move away, okay? So you, if you feel that your lower back is struggling to stay an imprint, don't bring them too far away. Keep them close to you, okay? And just go small circles. So if that means that your legs are past that 90 degree angle towards you, that's fine, okay? Whatever your body is able for it, okay, so don't push through. And the opposite way, please. Two, and one, lovely, okay. Place the feet down. And gently come onto your hands to a seated position, okay? From there, guys, bring your hands facing towards your, your fingers facing towards your bottom. Elbows are bent, okay? And when you're ready, we're going to just elevate one foot and the other, resting onto our hands, bending the elbows back as much as you need to, okay? From there, we're going to extend the leg, coming back into a bent elbow, and then bringing yourself up and the knees towards you. Drive away. And back. If you want to just work with one leg, if that's um, challenging enough for you, that's fine. Just do five on each side. Everybody else can keep working with two. Two. One. Drop the feet. Okay. From there, guys, we're going into tricep dip. Okay. Feet down. Take a breath in, keep your hands where they are, and bring your bum off the floor, okay? We're just going to focus on bending the elbows, bring your bum down towards the floor, and extending through the arms. Keeping the elbows softly locking out, not too hard. For five, four, three, two, one, and slowly. Relaxing. Okay, from there, come down onto your back, guys. And what I want you to do is just let your legs fall out. We'll bring the soles of the feet together and just gently rocking side to side as if you're trying to bring your knee down towards the floor. And from there, I'm going to get you to extend your arms back. Last one of the day, guys. Take an inhale and on the exhale, we're going to come into a sit up position reaching towards your feet okay inhale to extend back with the arm exhale to reach inhale to extend back if you need to put your hands behind your head if your neck is sore place the hands behind the head and work with that okay like so well done Two, one, and relax the arms back. I want you to keep the arms behind you and rest them down. Okay, elbows are bent. Keep the legs where they are in a nice relaxed position. We're going to finish off the session with a couple of breaths. Okay, letting go of 2020 and facing on to 2021, whatever it brings whatever it brings to us. 
we don't know. Take it a day at a time. So we're going to take a breath in through the nose and we're like we did in the warm up. We're going to breathe in for five seconds, hold for five this time, and then exhale for five. Okay. So when you're ready, take an exhale before you begin. So you have full breath in and go. Breathe in for five, four, three, two, one, and hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale for five, four, three, two, one, inhale for five, four, three, two, one, holding for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one, six, to the next one, inhale for five, four, three, Two and one, hold five, four, three, two, one, last exhale, five, four, three, two, one. I want you to do the next two on your own when you're going in. Big breath. Just give me one more, please. Inhale. I'm ready. Bring the legs back together and just let them fall to the left side of the room and reaching your arms to the right side. A little bit stretch along the other side. And just bring your arms down by your sides before you move on to the other side. Move your right leg first, your right leg leading, and then the left. Then you follow, place them down to the right side of the room and reaching to the left. You can look to your left side as well. Deepen the stretch a little bit more. And slowly leading with your top leg and then your bottom. Okay, when you're ready, come on to all fours. When you're done, guys, just stay with it for a moment. Okay, coming on to all fours. We're just going to circle the body. So I want you to stick your bum out towards the left, bring it down as if you're coming to sit down in that position. Then swing your back side to the right and then coming back on top of fours. So you're just circling around, leading with your back side. And exaggerate what you want with the upper body. And a little bit stretch again along the lateral sides. We've got a little bit of that today. Correct what damage we've done over the Christmas. And then we're going to go the opposite way, leading towards the right, the right side of your back side, going to the left, and then all the way back around. Right. Good. As your bone goes to the right, your upper body goes to the left. Two more this way. And last one. Lovely. And back into all fours, feet. Your wrists are still working onto your feet. There, guys, I'm going to get you to take a breath in, relax your feet down. And on the exhale, we're going to gently tuck the pelvis, rounding to our uh, spine, please. So as your mid spine towards the ceiling, and relax your head down. Nice cat head stretch. Hold it here for a couple of breaths. On the next exhale, I want you to slowly release the pelvis. So you're going to gently stick the bum away, soften your lower back, mid back, and slowly come up. Inhale, stay. And then on the exhale, tuck your pelvis first. Bring your head where it is. 
grinding through your spine, pushing into the mat with your hands, and really drawing those shoulder blades away from each other. Feel your abdominals working here. Relax the head down. Inhale to stay. And then move on the exhale, sticking the bum away. Soften your lower back, mid back, bring your chest down towards the floor. Relax the shoulder blades. And coming up with one more piece, guys. Inhale, exhale, and tucking. It starts to move. Drive the shoulder blades away. Gentle squeeze the glutes. Eye line down. Inhale, exhale, releasing the pelvis. The last one. Good job. Okay, from there, guys. Little gentle uh, goose stretch, and then you're free to go. So just bring your right leg or your left leg in underneath your body. See it there? Okay. And just sitting back towards the floor with your back side. You can uh, just hold your hands there if you find it too difficult or too challenging. Otherwise, if you find it quite easy, bring your elbows down. And if that's still quite easy, you can rest your head down on the floor just to deepen the stretch a little bit more. If you can't do that stretch, guys, just come onto your back and do what we did here in class, is bringing the knee towards your opposite shoulder. Okay? So you have options. Everybody else holding that stretch for another couple of seconds, please. And just be careful getting in and out of that stretch, guys, because your knee is uh, quite vulnerable going to this position. So just mind it, twisting that knee. So very slowly go into it and very slowly come out. Okay? So the sole of your left foot should be facing your right hip. And just breathe into the pain of the stretch. There is pain there or discomfort. And get, like, use your arms to dictate how much pressure you allow in that hip. Slowly come out of it. So hand down first. Gently, gently lift the knee. Slowly roll it back. And then bringing the other leg in. Slowly and coming down. And sitting into it whenever you feel comfortable. Slowly lower yourself down a little bit deeper if you can. Holding for another five, four, three, two, and slowly come out of that stretch side. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that. Wasn't too bad. Just enough. Red sheets are back.